Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to be able to measure the torque reverse bend here. I've got this one here. This is an angle uh, meter that uh, I bought. Um, it's pretty impressive. And I just put on a couple of little small bits of, um, um, I think that's 7mm plate there. It's just so it stays away from here when the angle bends. I've got a bar here that's bent at about 40 odd degrees, so the way to put it on. Like that, sit that there, that goes on there, and then when you start getting close to it, you'll see come down, fly across, and that's perfectly nipped there, as you can see. Like that. So, and this one measures from 180, so you have to subtract the number. That's it. So, this one's at 180 straight. So that would be 40.2. Yeah. So that's 40.2, so it's just over the 40 degrees. Um, obviously, this one, I mean, uh, which we used to measure above the 40 degrees anyway, you could just get yourself something that I used to have, which was basically two bits of wood at 40 degrees. But if you want to sort of be measuring these ones that are underneath the 40 degrees, and you don't want to buy the angle finder, you can just make yourself something like this. Um, uh, I downloaded this one from mathsisfun.com, the protractor, but there's numerous ones. Just type in on Google protractor and there's there's loads of them. So print one off. Now, you can laminate it, which would probably stop it from going rubbishy like this. And uh, once you've put it onto a piece of... I'll just chuck it on a piece of Formica. Um... Uh, she's shouting at the dog, that's just my daughter. Um, so what you've got on here, like so, put a little piece of wood there, this base one here, just coming from that side, exactly in the middle. So I think I had it at, um, let me just measure it. Remember the width. It's 25, isn't it? 20. Uh, yeah, 25mm. Uh, so I stuck it on at 12 and a half mil, exactly on that line there, there, uh, in the middle. It has to be in the middle because this next piece has to be in smack bang in the middle, in in on the on the dot of this part here. And once again, another piece like that. You can just glue that on. I I tacked it on, but I mean you can just put it on with a bit of no nails. Tack that one in, or I would actually better than tacking it in when I when I tacked it in. It's just get a little drill, drill a little hole. Put a little, um, I think I was going to change, I was going to get a little small, very thin bolt all the way through, that was perfect. Then that alone will measure your angle, see? So that's flat there, then you just measure over, you know, to go up a little bit further, and there we go. And it comes up at about 42. Is it as accurate as the other one over there? Well, it's, it's <laughs> it's, it's not, <laughs> but it's it's pretty. It's it's, it's going to be as you know. You're not going to get the fractions, but you're going to be absolutely in that zone. And if you want it that you can see this black piece here, what I did with this is just put another piece on the top, and you can measure it on the top like so. And once again, see, and there it is, measuring like that. Um, it enables you to sort of for all your training. To mark progress and for the talk, um, you know, page for us to put some degrees on and to try to better that as well. I hope these two things have been helpful and uh, 